Okay, everybody, this is my spoiler-free review of Jurassic World Dominion. So this is a film where my expectations were very in the middle because I was excited they were bringing the old characters back from the original trilogy, and I really dug the first Jurassic World, but where my worries came in was how much I did not like Fallen Kingdom. And it's weird because Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom starts pretty good, and then I felt like it had one of the worst second halves in a movie ever with that crazy plot twist of the child clone and what really was bizarre to me about this film dominion is that it rolls right off of that we get more child clone plots and things that are just bizarre that don't land and are silly and being in a critic screening with that you had a lot of like-minded people because when those moments would happen you just had laughs that shouldn't have been there that people were just laughing how silly it was it gets to that level and what doesn't make sense to me about this film when you see it is that they added all these cheesy villains in it. And it's like, whose idea was it to just, you know what, this needs cheesy villains. Like, no one was looking for that. It is so bizarre and it is literally, I hate saying stuff like this, but this actor, Campbell Scott, I've never seen him before, but he plays the main villain here. He puts in one of the worst performances I've seen to screen. It was so bizarre. When you watch it, you'll see what I mean, but... There's certain lines he's improvising in that don't work and it almost seems like he's like scaring his cast members like where they're like, what the hell? Like it, it feels real in a bad way. Like it's so awkward and just makes you laugh the whole time. I mean, like the second half of Fallen Kingdom that made me laugh, this movie has so much of that and there's people just appearing out of nowhere. If you really try to even use your brain for a second in this film, it's going to sting. So... You have to be careful. And I get it that Jurassic Park movies, people don't want to use their brains. That's what most say, right? They just want to see dinosaurs. Now, I disagree with that because look at the standard the first one made. Jurassic Park is a masterpiece and it has such a good script and its focus is still on the characters. Now, the problem I've had in general with this Jurassic World series is that I still don't know a thing about Chris Pratt's character. And honestly, Chris Pratt's acting just doesn't add anything in this franchise and really it kind of just plays off everyone here where i would say with the actors in this film with this big cast bryce dallas howard and laura dern bring it per usual they're great but then jeff goldblum amazing right jeff goldblum is the best part of this film his funniness that comes in later is great like he always delivers but sam neill does not want to be there this is a film where you're watching someone who didn't believe in this movie he knows he's getting a check he knows he has to be there so everyone else comes back doesn't want to be there and Chris Pratt adds nothing here and there's other cast members that feel awkward like some of the new members that just don't feel like they fit in um they seem like they're awkward on screen now I see a lot of praise for DeWanda Wise's performance I think she's a great actress but I don't think her character is that interesting at all I don't think again we learn anything about these people they're just paper thin and it's just a bizarre film and it also and the nostalgia factor is missing people that should have been there. It's missing anything that makes you really feel. It's very forced nostalgia. This isn't nostalgia that lands. So it's not even like they're giving you the good stuff with nostalgia. It's really bad nostalgia. It just doesn't work. Like there's a certain scene you'll see in the beginning. You actually actually see it in the trailer where Laura Dern pulls her glasses off. She does the same way in the first film. And it's just in the most bizarre moment. And it, 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 some of the editing too where they put certain scenes don't seem lined up right. Like wait, why is this scene after this scene? You'll notice those things, especially with Laura Dern's introduction, which was bizarre to me. And it's also weird that they make the decision there's more time spent with bugs in this movie than dinosaurs. You get these locusts that are a big plot point, which is just not good. And honestly, I think the most disappointing part was it took the route of joining, this isn't really a spoiler, but these groups, as we see in the trailer, will come together. So it's not a spoiler, but... They take forever to get together, and so we don't even really get to see the new cast play with the old cast much at all, which is also frustrating. And you have characters we barely know that are new that save the day in every scene. It's not the characters we want to see save the day, which can get annoying. And it's not all bad. I mean, it's the director of the Jurassic World, the first one, which I liked more than the second one a lot more. So there's some really good action sequences in it. There was one that got a lot of claps in the middle. You'll see what takes place in the desert town which is really good i think that there's a lot of dinosaurs even though there's a lot of bugs you still get a lot of dinosaurs so 
it feels just like any other not great Godzilla movie that have been coming out of late. Like, it's like a Godzilla vs. Kong kind of thing where you see ginormous monsters fight each other. And it came to the point where you're sitting there watching the movie and you're looking at everybody with you and you're like, you know, I, I feel like I'm just watching a video game with a bunch of people just giant monsters fighting but there's no stakes in it you know there's no weight to the characters in it you can do that but you have to add some kind of stakes to our people here because then we're just watching cgi things fight so it's frustrating but because of the strength of jeff goldblum i'm serious he's so good in this and some really good action here and there it's not all bad and it's better than fallen kingdom because fallen kingdom again that second half was just deplorable to me where it was just annoying that in this one they brought a lot of that story into this. And also it's bizarre because it ends on the hook where the dinosaurs are going, you know, into the world, but it doesn't feel like that in this movie. It doesn't feel like a world of dinosaurs. It just feels like another Jurassic World movie we've already seen in its plot and that there really is no much story here. And also that I believe with the whole Jurassic franchise, the best ones are when they're in the park. I think we're missing that second half of Jurassic where if it's not Jurassic Park, it's just Jurassic. I don't like it. That's kind of been my thing with the films in the past. I love the first one, and I really dug the first one of Jurassic World, but they both happen to be in a park. When you take that away, it just becomes dinosaurs wherever. It really loses its just edge, I feel, too. And it's sad. It's just not a great conclusion where you got a lot of franchises that are doing this to death with nostalgia, bring back old cast, but they at least, you know, even Ghostbusters had its really good moments this doesn't have it here. You're, it doesn't feel it. You don't feel that emotional Jurassic Park connection at all. It just feels really forced. And biggest disappointment of the year for sure. But I didn't have high expectations. So maybe it's just kind of expected at this point. But it, it did give me leave me feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm done with the Jurassic films for a long, long time. Like, we got to move on. This is not working. It's just not. Like, they've run out of ideas for it. And it's showing. And they're just banking on people buying toys and hoping they like these big monsters fighting. So... If that's your cup of tea, great, but you're not getting anything else with that. So I'm giving this one a 5.2. Not all bad, again, because you get some really good action here. You do get that what you're paying for in that blockbuster aspect of it where you get, you know, really cool dinosaurs here and there, but you got to expect a lot of bugs, so get ready for the locusts and some clone child storylines, so be hype. But, yeah, it's better than the Fallen Kingdom. That's all I'm going to say, but I even like Jurassic Park 3 better than this, so that's what I have to say about this film, but let me know if you plan on seeing it. Let me know when you do see what your thoughts are. I really want to hear your guys' thoughts on this, and please make sure to subscribe to one of my movie reviews. I also do celebrity interviews, TV reviews as well. Please follow me at Steve Varley Show on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for more of me, and I'll see you next time.